Welcome guys, so today I will be showing you a quick tutorial about basically anything I could show you within my little journey to pick up my girl. So we have our satellite radio, I highly recommend it. If you have this car, by the way, this is a BMW 428X Drive 2015. I'm absolutely in love with this vehicle. For the past year and a half, no complaints whatsoever, except you might run into some issues uh, if you hit a pothole. These tires are notoriously known for having, you know, getting bubbles on them. So you have to be very careful. As you can see, this is, uh, you know, my backup camera. It's very, very useful, especially in New York City, you know, when you're in tight spots, you know, you park without any issues. You could see everything in front of you, everything behind you. And, you know, you got the, I'm gonna make a quick right. Zoom in on, you know, the temperature gauges here. We have dual climate control. I personally have the M package, which gives you this beautiful steering wheel. It's very nice, meaty, you know, great grip. I, I feel like this is one of the best investments, you know, with the M Sport package. You, you know, I have the four, four cylinder car, but it has a twin turbo power, which means it has one turbo, not twin. It doesn't actually have two turbos in it. That's why they, they call it twin power turbo, but twin turbo power I believe is the actual two you know uh, that's a car with a, it's a BMW with the two turbos excuse me I actually forgot to put on my seatbelt uh, so let's uh, let's quickly show you the navigation I, I feel like this is one of the most intuitive and the most detailed and most, you know, the most, the, I think it's the best navigation on the market right now. Uh, I think comparable, you know, Mercedes is not too bad, especially if you have the, the S-Class Coupe or, you know, the regular S-Class and the new E-Class. They come with uh, the bigger screens, but yeah, they're not as great if you don't have that large wide screen. I feel like LCDs are very cheap so it doesn't make sense when I go into this, you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollar car from Mercedes, for instance. You know, you go into a, uh, you know, the older E Class, and you have these tiny screens. These LCD monitors are dirt cheap to make, so I don't understand where, uh, you know, these car maker, car companies wouldn't invest a little bit more on. A larger screen because visually it's just visually appealing when you see that you know there's more visibility when you are in Manhattan you zoom out or in you could see the actual detailed buildings right now you might not be able to tell but these are uh, fairly detailed you know if you look at the buildings and eh, not really but in Manhattan, we're in Brooklyn right now, in Manhattan, they are very, very detailed and the pictures of the buildings as you're moving through the road, through the city is very, it's just, it's just wonderful, it's beautiful. The graphics are just amazing, what can I say? You know, right now, you can tell I'm actually basically out of gas, as a matter of fact, totally forgot to gas up been very busy today so let's quickly make a right and we'll get some gas very soon Act yeah this is uh this is this is an emergency I need gas if I don't get gas that's a problem I'm gonna put the phone down and just let it let it record you know on my way to the gas station what else can I show you here on the screen as we we, you know, pulled over and wait for this red light. Uh, da, da, da. So, you know, you zoom all the way out and there you go. You have Earth. You have uh, our planet. 
It's just so beautiful, what can I say? I love it. I just love this car. It's just amazing. The handling, the handling is just absurd. When you're making the turns, it just hugs the road as you're just gripping the floor. BMW is just awesome for that. And whoever says BMW is not a great car, they're just, they're, I don't know. I don't want to call them haters, but they just, they, they haven't, they haven't driven it yet. Let's just say that. Cause if you drive a BMW and say it's a piece of shit, then you just haven't even driven this car yet. Yeah, I could say that maybe the steering is a little soft. I could, uh, but it, you know, once you put it on sport or sport, you know, sport plus mode, which is essentially the, the traction control off, this car really wakes up. The, the, the steering wheel actually stiffens up a bit and uh, you get the real feel of the car just wakes up it's alive in sport plus mode let me quickly show you i'm actually just pulled up at the gas station right now you know gonna uh, you just go down down here and press the sport up and you see over here that's this is sport comfort and you have the eco pro eco uh things you know the graphics change blue you know it's just i love it as you're driving you know car charges but I just love driving this thing in sport plus mode even with sport plus mode traction control off it still has a ridiculous amount of traction on the road like I've never lost control on a turn in this car as of yet and it's been over two years so yeah I'm at the gas station gonna gas up and uh, you know continue my journey put the phone away be more safe just a quick down the block you know little tutorial and uh, you know, hopefully I'll give you more details later about this car. You know, anyone that's interested, I highly recommend it.